Hi, everyone. Karen Davis here. For those that don't know me, uh, I've taught a few Ollie at Berkeley courses, and I'm the senior film programmer for the Mill Valley Film Festival and Professor Emerita at Cal State University Monterey Bay as well. So uh, this fall, I'm delighted to be presenting a course I'm calling Comedy, Crime, Chaos, and the Cinema of the Coen Brothers. And this time uh, it'll be live at the uh, Lafayette Library Learning Center. I'm really excited about that. The course will be October 17th, 24th, 31st, and November 2nd. A um, little bit about the Coen brothers, although I think probably most people have seen at least one of their films. We're gonna be considering four of their caper comedies. They are perhaps Hollywood's most iconoclastic producer, director, writer, fraternal duos of the late 20th and 21st centuries. There's something in a Coen Brothers film for nearly everyone, I think. And the films are worth seeing time and again. And some of the films uh, perhaps you haven't seen at all. So I've picked uh, two of their most popular and two of their lesser known films to focus on. They are known for embracing and subverting uh, genre movies. Uh, Westerns, B-movies, musicals, even horror films, sometimes all within the body of just one single film. They've created so many characters that have entered into our popular culture as if they've always been there. Let's uh, take, for example, Jeff Bridges as the dude in The Big Lebowski, uh, Marge Gunderson uh, in uh, Frances McDormand, of course, as Marge Gunderson in Fargo, uh, so that gives you a notion of two of the films we'll be seeing, that is to say Fargo, The Big Lebowski, but we'll also see one of their earlier movies, I believe it's their fourth feature film, The Hudsucker Proxy from 1994, which was first panned, and now it is lauded by critics, so for those that might have caught it the first time around, it's certainly worth reconsidering. Uh, and we will also be seeing a film that didn't get a lot of play, um, that's Hail Caesar from 2016, and that might have somehow not caught your attention, but is most definitely worth considering. So I look forward to seeing you this fall for the Cinema of the Coen Brothers at the Lafayette Library Learning Center. Thanks a lot.